Hello everybody, welcome to our new how-to guides. So here on the ClassicMotorbikes.net YouTube channel we often get asked questions about how we do different tasks on a bike, which we enjoy. Uh, obviously it's very hard to answer in a comment, but we've decided to make these videos just so people have got an idea on how to do certain jobs on their motorcycles. Lots of people are watching our channel because they enjoy working on their bike and want to get some tips and tricks. Well, we thought we'd make these videos for a comprehensive guide to make those servicing at home jobs that bit easier. If there's any how-to videos you would like to see, please let us know down in the comments and we will try our best to make some more how-to videos. For this first series of videos, some of our friends have helped us out. Motorbikebreakers.com have supplied us with a Suzuki TL1000R to do our first round of how to videos. It's going to be nice having just the one bike to work on and keeping the first set of how to's uniform working on the same bike. But I'll make the videos so that they apply to most motorcycles and not just specific to this bike. So, should we take a quick look around the bike and see what kind of state it's in? So as you can see from the shots, this bike has been sat around for a good few years. It's remained unloved and it hasn't had a wash in a long time. So I think this will be a perfect example to start these how-to videos and we can work on a bike that might be a little bit challenging or throw up some problems and we'll try and overcome them which happens in real life because not all motorcycles have been well maintained and this is a good example of that so hopefully we find some bad maintenance problems that we can overcome together and hopefully return the TL to a serviceable condition Our other friends to help us out are MSP Motorcycle Spare Parts Europe who are suppliers of genuine parts for a variety of different motorcycle brands and they've sent us this surprise box of parts for our how-to videos so shall we open it up and have a look and see what's inside and what videos will be coming in this series So let's see what we find, lots of packing, lots more packing, something heavy in this one, so what have we got here, aha, we've got a genuine Suzuki oil filter. I might check that other packing I threw away in case there's something wrapped up in that. Nope, nothing in that one. Nope, nothing in that one. Right, let's carry on. So, next part, fairly heavy. Okay. Lots and lots of parts in there, we'll open that in just a moment. Let's have a look, see what we have here. Okay. Okay. 
Uh huh. This might be a clue. We've got a brand new, genuine rear sprocket. So, could we be doing a chain of sprocket kit? Okay, a bit more packing. Can never have too much packing. And what have we got here? Oh wow, so we've got a genuine Suzuki chain. So I would say we're gonna be doing a chain and sprocket kit. So, should we have a look, see what's in the bag? I can see a front sprocket. So we've got a genuine front sprocket, along with all the other parts that are genuine, so we'll put that there. We have got a double banjo bolt. We have got a fork bush, so could we be doing a fork rebuild? It looks that way. We've got a oil seal for the forks. We have got a bearing. I'll have to look that one up and see where it goes on the bike. We have got a little shim or little washer. Again, I'll have to double check that one, see where it's come from. Uh, we have a little washer for the brake system. We have got a dust seal for the forks. So I think we're gonna be doing a fork rebuild. Uh -huh. We've got a bearing seal. So I imagine we'll be doing wheel bearings. We've got another banjo bolt, a single one this time. And we have another fork brush. So, we've got a few jobs to be getting on with. We're gonna be replacing the wheel bearings by the look of it. We're also gonna be doing a fork service and rebuild with new fork seal and even new bushes. I know lots of people replace the fork seals, but not everyone always inspects the bushes or even replaces them, so we'll include that as well. And we've got a chain and sprocket kit and an oil filter so we can give it a service. So, you should always read what comes in the box. Hello Ian, we've sent some parts for you to get you going on your new how-to videos. We can't wait to see the TL get some TLC and maybe bring it to its former glory. We've got a few more parts to send out to you so you can do your first series of how-to videos. Can't wait to tune in on a Sunday evening with some posh snacks. MSP. Well, thank you very much to everyone at MSP. Always read the paperwork. So we've got a few bits to get us going on the project. And we're going to have a, another box of goodies coming really soon. So I think what I'll do is make a start on the front end. We've got the forks to rebuild. We've got the wheel bearings to do. And uh, I think... Going by the banjo bolts and bits and bobs, we'll uh, even be giving the brakes some attention as well. So I hope that gives you a bit of insight into our how-to videos. Like I said at the start, if you could leave a comment below of any videos you think we should do, we'll do our best to make plenty more. So just before I go, again I'd like to say thank you to motorbikebreakers.com for lending us a TL so we can do some work on it. And thank you to MSP for sorting us out with some genuine parts. If you want to catch all of our how-to videos, don't forget to give us a subscribe and hit the bell icon. And you'll get a notification every time we do an upload, which is normally Sunday evenings at 9pm. So until next time, we'll see you later.